Ortenburg's been my home base since 1999. And even after all that time, and now that I live here full time, I still pinch myself. I mean, look at this. I live here. This is my hometown. I'm still blown away every day. Past a tower used as a prison tower for minor offenses and down the steep hill from Rotenburg to Detvang. This ancient stone wall has always intrigued me. I think about the people who built this many centuries ago. To the Bronnenmühle, one of the mills below Rotenburg, this one had a special function. It pumped water up to the water tower that was shown to you just a few seconds ago as I left Rotenburg. It's a beer garden in nice weather. A wonderful place to chill out next to the Tauber. one of more than 20 mills in the region just below Rodenburg this is the Ludlines Mühle still in operation actually as a manufacturing facility using the power of the Tauber River which flows next to it there's somebody with the same idea that I have a walk on a beautiful day near Rotenburg approaching Detvang the oldest suburb that we have dating back to the year 980 when this little church was built. St. Peter and St. Paul built as a refuge for the pilgrims who would walk down this riverside path on their way to points further south. It's called the Lamp of the Dead. It's lit for three days after someone is buried. Walking around the Church of St. Peter and Paul with faces carved into the stonework that are a thousand years old. Up to the tower. There are more faces along those pillars. You can't see them, but that's an ancient window into a cellar of a mill. The door down into the mill yard. And an interesting tower house built on a pedestal of stone to raise the house up above the floodplain of the Tauber. Ancient trees along the road that leads back to Rotenburg and one of many wood piles in this area. We learned recently that because of climate change, many, many trees are dying from the drought and also from an infestation of bugs that are attacking trees, killing them, laying eggs. Those trees must be removed before they can infect others. And here we have the Tauber, water coming down from the ice skating rink that we hope that will freeze soon because we would like to strap on our ice skates and go for some winter fun. One of the many things I love about living in Rotenburg is that within just minutes I can walk out of the city gates and be in this stunning nature of the Tauber Valley. And now, as we approach what Martina and I call a kissing bridge, I'll be quiet, let you enjoy the scenery, maybe get close to somebody special of your own. Enjoy this kissing bridge.
onto the Fuchs Mille, an operating mill. Continuing on our dreamy walk through the Tauber Valley and this little house perched on a stone pedestal belonged to the powerful Mayor Tupler who ruled Rotenburg almost like a king in the late 14th and early 15th centuries. That was his summer getaway. Walking along, the view back toward the Tupler Schloss, they call it the Tupler Schlosschen. And through this little Almost like a hamlet below Rotenburg, a place with farms and more mills, a house from 1686, and a beautiful view of Rotenburg with, yes, another mill in the foreground. At the left you can see where the castle used to stand, taken down in the 1300s to use the building materials to extend the wall into the southern part of town. And a panoramic view of the skyline of Rodenburg seen from the Taubertal, the Tauber River Valley. The medieval church of Koboldzell was ransacked in the Farmer's War 1525 has been empty ever since. That's the double bridge built in 1330. Still used today to carry cars and people. Another mill, it's a sawmill with some boundary markers in the yard out front. Inside that shed was the sawing apparatus. As I took this uh, scene, the old couple who live in the mill were looking out at me through the parted lace curtains of their home. Just a little snapshot in my mind that I can't capture for you. And now I'm going to be quiet and let you enjoy this serene walk through the vineyards below Rotenburg. And up we go back into Rodenburg. A little house built in the early 20th century for an artist. Part of the original wall of Rodenburg below the castle. That's a chapel remaining from the castle, so that is a thousand years old. An arch that we're going to pass through to go into the Burg Garden, the castle garden. And what might be the loveliest approach of all to my hometown through the Berg Tour, the Castle Gate, with the ramparts, houses built right into the ramparts to save space, those practical Germans, through the double toll gate and into town. Thank you very much for watching this latest little movie of mine. Now stay tuned because I'm going to show you 30 seconds of Rodenburg at night. Until the next time, stay safe. Hope to see you on this side of the Atlantic soon. Auf Wiedersehen.